take your board and put it horizontal in the machine up to the two supports that are screwed down. We're going to take two scrap pieces from behind us on the cart, the drill, and the screws. The holes themselves are slightly angled on some of the scrap material. What that's going to do, once we screw those in, they're going to push at an angle to get tight against the board. The screws themselves are inch and a quarter. Our sacrificial board underneath and our support pieces are three-fourths each, which puts us at one and a half. With the inch and a quarter screws, they won't go through the sacrificial board. The impact does help with the squeezing of the material tight as a clamp. On the left side, we'll do the same thing, and we can locate some of the holes that are angled. Place the screwdriver in the screw box back on the cart. Double click on the velocity CNC icon on your desktop. Connect to the velocity CNC. Agree to the safety. The velocity CNC is now connected to the computer and you can move the CNC around. We need to move the CNC to the lower left corner of our piece. That's going to be our zero, zero. Currently, it's set as a negative 3.3021 and so on. Those numbers could read very differently uh, per project and per person that's using this. Uh, for the person that's watching this video, currently, it very well may read 5.555 for X, 5.555 for Y, and so on. So those numbers currently don't matter. We're going to eventually set them to zero. To do that, you want to make sure in the lower right area of your velocity of CNC, we're going to select jog. You'll see that the up down for the Z has a plus and a minus, moving up to the air or down to the table. You can also see that there's a positive X, positive Y, negative X, and negative Y. Those positions, once those buttons are pressed, will move into a negative X to the left, positive towards the back of the shop, and towards us for negative Y. Currently, it's on slow. If we go too fast, and we select, the positive Y, it's going to move away from us fast. If we move negative Y, it's going to move towards us fast. And we want to move it close to our corner. If I move now negative X fast and watch the bit you can see that all these numbers are in fact changing. I'm going to hit positive X and you'll see it change. Positive Y and you'll see it change. So those numbers currently don't matter. What we're worried about is getting the point of the bit right on the corner of our piece. I'm going to select the now slow. Instead of fast, I'm going to select slow. And I'm going to go slow x, y positive, x, y negative, and z positive or z negative. 
I'm going to reset the tripod so you can see exactly where it's going to go. So you can barely see the bit in the frame. I'm still in slow, so I'm going to hit negative Z and come down until I reach very, very close to my material. Please use the scrap piece of paper provided to test to see how close we are. I'm unfortunately touching the material, so I want to go positive Z by single left clicking on the positive Z button. And I'm just touching the material, so we'll go up a few more ten thousandths of an inch. Now I'm not touching the material. I can see it spinning and my paper is just sliding underneath. So now I want to come over a negative X to meet the corner. And right there. Now I want to come negative Y just to hit the car. Even though you put the tip of the router in the lower left corner in X, Y, and Z as a zero. That is your zero. What you're going to do is go to the upper right, set drop down, left click, and drop down to the first option, zero all. The message on the screen, please accept by hitting OK. And your X, Y, and Z for your lower left corner is now set for zero, and this is where your design will come in. Minimize, don't close, but minimize the velocity CNC. Open the family template by double left clicking on the family icon, family template icon. Zoom with your wheel mouse, hold your wheel mouse to pan, zoom towards the screen to make it bigger, zoom towards us to make it smaller. Left click on wheel to zoom it around. Everything is preset. The only thing that you did was set your zero zero. The lower left corner of your board is zero zero. So your design will be on the board. You don't have to necessarily stick with this particular type of text. However, I would suggest that uh, you don't have the text lines too close. Uh, having something a little bit wider works fairly well. I'm going to keep the and family as Cooper Black text. The LBC Summer should be changed to your last name. If you feel that you understand this information a little better, uh, you may type in something like Happy Halloween. You could type in Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Celebrating Kwanzaa, Happy Easter, anything that you want. I'm going to double click on LBC Summer. And you'll see that it highlights it in a nice light pink on the left side then to modify the text you'll be going to the first T by single left clicking the text itself you can type in your last name now I kept the caps lock key on if you don't want it caps lock that's fine I'm gonna type in gain And I'm going to select apply. Then I'm going to hit close. And you can see that LBC Summer changed to gain. To resize it, simply single left click and use the corner to corner to proportionately drag the font size to your liking. Left click in the blank screen to exit. If you'd like to change the font, double click, go back to text, 
instead of high tower text I could change it to anything I want hit apply and close and obviously that is not how you spell gain I'm gonna hit the undo button by going edit undo or control Z to bring back the gain family tool pads to create a tool path for the CNC router single left click on the tool path tab that's barely peeking out of the right side top. There is a small little tack in the upper left corner to make sure that you can pin that window so it will not disappear. The option that we're going to use is profile toolpath. We're going to make sure that our start depth is set at zero, our cut depth is 0.125, our tool is the V-bit, if it's not, we hit select. We want to make sure that we select our V bit 60 degrees and hit OK. The passes we're going to keep at 2. We are going to select for the machine vectors, we're going to keep it at on. Not outside, not inside, but on our text and our outline. Everything else you can bypass in this window and scroll down just a little bit until you get to the selector button. Hit the selector button and a window pops up. Keep open vectors checked, close vectors checked, all close vectors on, all visible layers on, and layer 1 checked. Select close. Scroll down until you reach the very bottom and hit Calculate in the lower left corner of the right menu. Your project is showing up a preview of how it will look. To preview, you're going to hit Play. And you'll notice your project is then simulated into a simulation piece of material in a 3D version on the screen. If I select my left mouse button, I can drag it around to be able to see exactly how it's going to look. The 4 foot by 8 foot area is nothing that we need to worry about. It's just where we put our board and once again we set that at 0, 0. If I like what I see, I'm going to hit close and I'm going to hit save toolpath. If I hit save toolpath here, I'm going to save it as my last name, gain. And it's going to save it to be able to pull it into the velocity CNC as a G code. File name gain, save. So that's the toolpath save. The drawing save, you can come up to the upper left corner and go file save as. Save it to the desktop for the time being. And instead of family template, you can save it as family template underscore your last name, in my case game, and save. I'm now going to minimize my drawing and you can see here is my G codes. I'm going to bring back up my velocity CNC which has been sitting it down in the taskbar and still at 000. I'm going to go to file and open G code. I'm going to select my G code gain.ncc not my design of family template gain, but the gain.ncc and open. And you'll see, here's what it will look like in 2D 
and here's how it sets in the machine 3D. And all the lines of code are on the left, which will, everything will be explained in how'd you do that episode. I simply need to hit G code and select start. If for whatever reason, before I select start, you don't, if something decides to happen with the machine, you can hit the feed, hold, or any key on the keyboard. If you would like to resume then, you hit start. I'd like to point out the calculated run time for this run is four minutes and 36 seconds. Our dust collection is this button on the wall. Press that, and you hear the system kick in. Select start, and enjoy watching your board. <laughs> 